Hi Scorpio, how's it going today? Finally, we're gonna try this again. So I scrapped the last video that I got started, well I did it and I don't know, just having no luck with that one. So apparently it's not something that we needed to hear. So I'm like, we're just gonna start fresh. I'm gonna break uh, these down to where, um, I think I'm gonna do one on career, money, one on love, even though it's just one of those things. And, um, and then a general reading. So today I think we're gonna go ahead and do a general reading for Scorpio. Uh, see what comes up, you know, obviously guys, um, if it's not for you, don't don't press it to make it fit. Just let it be what it is. You know if it's for you and if it's not, then take what is for you and leave the rest of it behind as always. Um, thank you for liking, sus subscribing, sharing. Uh, is Path of Enlightenment Tarot is new. I'm excited to be able to get to do this for you guys. It's been a long time coming. Um, done this work for a long time uh, locally and now I'm being able to spread it out and share all of this with everybody else so that's exciting for me uh, so for me I use a deck most often when I'm doing personal readings called the psych deck um, it, it works for me it's fantastic I've asked spirit and our guides to join us today for this reading so we're going to general from spirit as to what Scorpio needs to know Scorpio <laughs> I'm a Scorpio son right like there, I don't think there's a reading out there, well, maybe there is, but not too many, of Scorpio where like death, destruction, rebirth, uh, illusionary stuff is is there, discerning what belongs to us, letting go of what does not. Um, this is some past energy, most definitely, or you guys may be at the tail end of some of this energy where there's a lot of fuck shit going on, right? Like a lot of third party stuff that sent you into shutdown mode emotionally. Um, this may, to me, Scorpio, you were the breadwinner, right? You were taking care of things at home. You were getting shit done. You were making things happen, but it's like behind the scenes, all of this stuff was going on. All this deceit, all this, all these lies, this bullshit, this fuckery is, is happening around you. And it's like your, your feet's to the fire on trying to trying to keep home stable, trying to keep life stable, trying to keep things where they need to be. Um, because I feel like life in general was being affected. Life in general in the sense of the stability of home, your finances, um, everything is kind of up in the air. So again, this may be, you know, place this as it belongs to you timeline wise. This is supposed to be for the month of August, um, but this is gonna resonate whenever you're supposed to hear it. Um, to me, these trials, these tribulations, whatever you want to refer to them as, they were a way to see, the universe was testing you going, how are you going to handle this? What are you going to do with it? Um, and that was really a decision because like, I feel like that through the lies and the deceit that were happening around you, you already knew there was, you, you cannot fool a Scorpio. So if there's a cross watcher out there that's watching this video, understand something, Scorpio very much stands in their own they're fully aware you will never be able to bullshit a Scorpio. And if they go silent on you, oh my God, like <laughs> you do not want Scorpio to go silent on you because they are in their head and they are contemplating and they are thinking this through and they are gaining wisdom and insight to the behavior. They're gaining wisdom and insight to your manipulations, to your bullshit. And they, you're either gonna get in line or you're gonna be left behind. Like there, there is no two ways about this. And Scorpio, you were not, you're not having it. You either weren't having it, you're not having it, or you're not going to have it, right? Like this is like destined. Like this, Scorpio's path is, as a Scorpio myself and looking back and then knowing other ones and seeing where they're at and then doing what I do, Scorpio will sit with the darkest parts of not only their selves but with other people and give it the opportunity to transform on its own but once Scorpio gets to the point that they're done with the idea of the transformation that someone else isn't getting on board there's no going back there's nothing nice that you can say there's no sweet talking your way in it out of it whatever it's just they have sat back and gained so much wisdom and insight into what doesn't work and going these changes need to happen i can sit in these changes for as long as i need to and just let it be what it needs to be for me let it align to be what i need it to be like when they get to a point they don't give a shit they don't give a shit and 
Scorpio, like you understand that whatever you were putting in before, that's what you're going to get right now. Like, you know, if you, if you lived in a way or were spiritual in a sense that you were doing the right things, you really did try to do the right thing, or you tried to do what felt right to you, or you tried to stand beside somebody and give what you had, because this to me is soulmate energy even though this isn't supposed to be a love reading um you know whatever spirit gives us is what needs to come out but this there may have been children involved in the home there may have been um it, the word and actually it's crazy rain is coming out like when rain would fall it was like the only time that you felt peace it's because it was a purifying energy it was a calming energy it was like where you could find your balance and when it was raining our crops are growing, our harvesting, our, our, our seeds are, are, are being nourished and nurtured and they grow. So during that time, I mean, that's really how the energy comes through to me and what Spirit's giving me is even though you were going through all of this, whatever this shit was with whoever this person is or this situation was, it was like to feel the rain fall on your skin was to feel nourished, to feel nourished and go, Everything that I'm doing right now is not in vain. It's going to turn around. It's going to turn around. And the sun's going to shine. And I'm going to harvest what I've put in. I'm going to reap the rewards of my efforts. Of all the things that I've managed to accomplish and do at this point in time. So, you know, whew, golly. What, there is not, I don't think there, I've, Scorpio readings, right? I'm going to do this with or without you. Spirit is saying, I'm going to do this with or without you. So are you going to get on board or are you going to sit in your bullshit? Because I'm doing this with or without you. Like, I know where I'm supposed to be. I know where I'm going. Scorpio knows where they're going. And you're either going to come along or I'm going to leave your ass behind. <laughs> and I really feel like for a lot of you, they got their ass left behind. They weren't coming back around that you weren't, you weren't going to have it. You, 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 you know, you get to a space where you get to, done with the conflict and the drama and you've let it go for so long. And it's like, I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward out of this. I'm moving forward away from this. And for some of you, you know, it was walking into a place of stability. A lot of you walking in, you know, male or female, doesn't matter, walking into masculine energy going, I can, you know, I was basically doing this to begin with by myself in a sense because I was being lied to and, and given a line of bullshit. I've already been there. I've been there the whole time. You just never realized that you were. And now you're stepping into stability that's like, wait a second. I've been doing this again all along and I'm okay. I'm standing into my masculine energy. I'm taking on what I need to take on. I'm doing what I need to do, but I was doing it the, the entire time. So don't, yeah, like, Understand whoever this person is, was, they're not happy with you. <laughs> they're like, how dare you move forward in your success without me? How dare you move on from this life without me? And if they come back around, you know, it's, there's really a need to be discerning of why they're coming back around. And this, you know... This can be family. This is one, this is two things. This is either family related or this is going to be partner related, significant other related, right? They're either coming back around and you're gonna have to discern whether or not what they have to, one is a Scorpio. Do you even wanna hear what they have to say? It's likely that you don't. You're like, I just don't give a shit anymore. Like you've burnt that bridge. You, you've burned it to the ground. You've made me false promises and, and, and empty wishes. And they come back around and it's like, you're, you've got your defenses up. Like, hold on, I've created this safe space for myself. I've created this life for myself. I've created this abundance for myself. And now you wanna come knock on my door. You're gonna have to discern whether or not what they're offering you or what they're giving you or the communication that they're having with you is honest. Because to me, this is like a twofold thing. So you've either got somebody who and I think it's going to be different for each of you, really. I mean, you know the people that are in your life. You know what you're dealing with. They're either sincere about the awakening or the realizations that they've had. And they're coming in a state of, I fucked up. 
and they're addressing their bullshit. Or they're gonna come back in and give you another line of bullshit, hoping that you're gonna take them back so they can do the same thing over again. Because, you know, snake is still a snake after it sheds its skin, right? Nothing ever changes in that regard. They're still who, they, who they've shown themselves to be. So, you know, you have to decide and discern if they're being sincere. Um, Scorpio, we have the tendency to be assholes. Once, some, once somebody crosses that line uh, of basically no return, um, we, we don't play nice. Um, I'm gonna say the uninvolved Scorpios can be downright manipulating and uh, take it to a whole other level. But that's our ego. That's our ego that speaks from that space. For um, others of us who are more evolved in our soul's path, um, it's just like, just be on your way. I wish you all the great things in life and I hope you get your shit together, but it's not gonna be here. You know, so you're gonna have to discern where this person sits in, in your life and what you're willing to invest your energy in. Because if you were invested your energy, somebody was lying and being a shithead before, like have they really changed or is this just, hey, let me back in so I can do it again because you were a comfortable space for me, right? So it, it's gonna be a matter of their healing and what it is that they're doing at this time. All right, let's see what else. Sacred Rebels deck, I love it, it's beautiful. Yeah, inner trust and faith in the process. You, you've, you've got to trust what is coming into you. You have to know, and it's it's really trusting your intuition as well, because you've been you've been there. You your inner voice is always speaking to you. Our intuitive abilities, every single person in this world has them. Whether we harness them or not is a whole other aspect of what we decide to do. Um, but you've come so far, you know, on, on faith alone to just put it back together. And this person may be coming back going, please just put faith in me again. Put faith in me and, and trust me. You know, and I'm, here, I'm hearing that from spirit now, like, just have faith and trust in me. Have faith and trust in me. And if you want to, that's fine. That's up to you, right? Like, you've got that free will to make that decision. But remember, our actions are forever speaking louder than our words. And if they come in and they're not showing you a different side of them, if they're talking it, but they're not walking the walk, why, why do you have them in your life? Are you investing your energy in a safe place? This person, oh gosh, okay. <sighs> there, there is some very serious, this may be past, I mean, coming into this 3D, this may be past life connections where you come back together in, in this realm um, and understand like there, there is a very deep soul connection there. It definitely exists. Um, but there's things that have to be worked on. There's things that have to be healed. There's things that have to be transformed. And to me, Scorpio, and you know, again, as always, reverse the rules as it applies. Cross watcher, if, you, if you've done dirty, you know, it, you chose not to heal and heal at that time. Scorpio could be you and you just chose not to step up and heal at that time. But you guys were never, you weren't, you weren't on the same page. You just weren't, you didn't have it together in that sense. So it's very much, <clears throat> understanding that this person is likely to come back around and it's going to be about, um, you know, I, in a way I feel bad for them, right? Because they have, we all have the tools to, um, perfect. And I, I really don't like to say perfect, but perfect our lives to put it to where we want it to be. Right. And, um, and, and to supply that growth for the rest of our lives. And I feel like this person, uh, for some, does genuinely try to step into that. Um, but somewhere in the midst though, it's almost like I can hear sound, right? I hear this sound, this, this. Um, it kind of reminds me of a waterfall in a sense, but it also is, um, it's like almost like background noise, like white noise, kind of like, I know you can probably hear my air conditioning running. Um, kind of kind of in that, in that phase, but it's always like in the back of their head, this, this, third party situation or whatever it is that they're dealing with is always playing over in the back of their head. And it doesn't necessarily have to be another person as it is their thoughts, the past, what comes back through and around. And it can also be part of you reminiscing, reminiscing on how perfect you thought everything was at one point and going, could we ever even get back there? So let's, all right, 
for our Scorpio, please, Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? I feel like both souls, both souls very much feel tied together. Like there's always, there's always been a deeper knowing, a deeper understanding um, than, than the, I guess would say that most that meets the eye. Like we can meet people and not have that deep, strong connection to them than we do meet people and that connection is just it can't be denied it can't be you, you can't fake that feeling right you can't fake what comes along with that um but Scorpio I see you very much in yourself that independent energy um because before I think during this situation you Scorpios are great at give they're givers right we give 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 but we have a hard time receiving. So to us, you know, for me personally, to take a compliment in someone, to tell me something good about myself or thank me for something, I don't know, I'm not great at taking a compliment, okay? So I, I've always sucked at receiving <laughs> in that regard. But when you get to a space where you've gone through all this and you're finally like Scorpio's like, I'm ready to receive, show me. Because you're going to go back and you're transforming the history of who you are. And you're going, I was this big, then this big, then this big. Like, I'm growing, right? I'm growing. I'm, I'm stepping outside of who I was, the things I learned. I'm okay and comfortable with being me. And this could be a lot of shadow work that you're doing on yourself or a lot of internal work. Um, and I just did the daily and there was some of that was up in there, right? So having a bigger vision of who you are and who you're going to be in this lifetime. And... I feel like you've kind of left this behind. Whatever this is, the situation, it may come back around. It may be closing of a cycle in that regard. But you've stepped out into your own. You've, you've transformed it. You've maybe seen dragon, dragonflies and butterflies right now significantly. Or you've, you've packed up and you, you've walked away. Because you realize now that it's just not serving of you anymore. Um, you have stepped into uh, releasing releasing the past and it's not that you don't care because Scorpio the, the depths of the emotions that, that swell up in, inside are they're they're mon monumentous they really truly are but you've learned to just love yourself and take away the parts of you that you could salvage and I'm gonna say salvage because it feels like you, you shed just like I said earlier you snake shed the skin it doesn't mean it's not a snake anymore but for you, you've shed the old self and you've recognized where you stand. You have, you've allowed that ending to occur and you've now realized where, where you stand in your power by yourself and going, I can manifest, I can do anything I want to do it, but every single tool on the table that I need to step into my own power and you're letting it happen. And it's like, do you let somebody come back in and, and go, uh, okay, let's see here. Do I want to, do I want to tango with your energy again? Because it brought me a lot of heartache, a lot of a lot of things to that effect. But the beauty of it is that experience has changed you forever. It has totally made you see things in a different light that you've never seen before, especially when it comes to the self, right? Like you are finally, for the first time in your life, open to receive the gifts that are given to you. You're open to receive and an understanding you're open to whether it's messages you may be getting intuitive downloads you may be experiencing things seeing the synchronicities there there could be so much but it's like finally after everything has calmed down and you moved on and forward um you're able to sit with that and it's like okay if you're here great and if you're not that's okay too but i think it's important um that if this person comes back around you know I, the one thing that i was taught and i've learned it over the years the second a person says just trust me you probably shouldn't trust them. You should probably think about why they're telling you that to begin with. You know, just trust me, put faith in me. Um, you know, and how many times have you maybe heard that from somebody and they've let you down? So this is really about repetitive pattern and thought. Like, where have you been with this person in the past? Because to me, it seems like it rocked the core of all your foundations and sent you, it sent you, in, it was the catalyst. It was the catalyst of change for you to be discerning of, yourself so this person you know they might be on the outside looking in you may have just shut them down altogether. and i said i'm sorry i'm done with you um 
but the knowledge, like you've learned how to rebuild your foundations for you. And that's a beautiful space to be in. Um, like all of a sudden you're standing, to me it's this energy of, what it feels like is you, you standing there boldly in your, your own presence and being comfortable enough in your own skin to go, if this does not serve me anymore, I don't need it. I don't need you, I don't need it. Um, but be careful too on how you communicate those messages to people because you want to make sure that you're healing not only the situations in your internal self but then whenever you have to deal with the external situations and maybe people coming back around that you're handling it in a manner that is soft funny I picked up this card right on the split on the deck soft 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 so be soft in how you're communicating um, because our words you know, we want to leave people in a, in a better place than where we found them at. So even if they weren't ready to transform in their journey, um, yeah, release the dark wound and let love live. So, you know, if they've hurt you in some way, uh, let it, I mean, say let, you know, I, hate, I don't want to say, I hate to say let it go, but let it go because, you know, when we're caught up in that pain and strife, the only person that's suffering, we're drinking our own poison. You know, that person really may not give two shits as to... How you're feeling and again that card is I'm putting some things back softly softly the tender touch and they be they may be missing they may be missing that softness about you because Scorpios can have this very maternal nurturing instinct um, we can really go from side to side you know on uh, we can be the, the best and, and give you undevoted amounts of attention or we can be your worst fucking enemy so you know it's up to you you know, what you're gonna get from me is gonna be what you're giving to me. So if you gave me kindness, then I'm gonna give you kindness. If you've given me fuck shit, you're probably gonna get fuck shit back. So like, don't don't let this person just come in and like railroad you, but also at the same time, don't, don't, don't come from a space of anger and aggression towards them because Scorpios, we have the tendency to just be downright um, nasty if we need to be, or if we feel threatened somehow. Um, you know, that's, that's scorpion nature. So do it in a way that doesn't come from uh, the hurt and the pain that you've experienced in the past. And if they've changed, fantastic. And if they haven't, um, sorry, there's no room here for you, right? So Scorpio, I'm going to leave it on that note. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Again, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, I'm excited to hopefully get this video out today. That'd be awesome, right? So um, I'm going to get to all the other signs here very soon and then do a career maybe and some love as well. So I hope you guys have the best day ever. Enjoy your Friday. It's the end of the work week. Woohoo. And I will see you all very soon. Take care.